shit, I had to start this video over again, which kind of sucks. As a lot of you know, I'm going through um, a medication change right now. Um, really quick, I was a very um, uh, a very good mountain bike racer for many years, and um, I had a really bad accident, and I um, I was riding on a trail, and somebody in front of me didn't signal a brake. And so, and I was going, I wasn't going that fast, but I, I still had a problem braking so that I would avoid smashing into the back of this person's bike. And um, I put my foot down, and there was nothing there. I was on a cliff. <laughs> and so I, I damaged my spine pretty bad and uh, some of my internal organs, etc. So anyway, um, I was just put on this, uh, I was just put on morphine. And now I'm used to taking opiates, um, but this is the first time I've taken a long-acting opiate. And the problem is, is that the, the opiate that I'm, you know, I have a very fast metabolism, and so the opiates that I'm taking are just going right through my system within two or three hours and then I need another dose of it um, and I've been fine for like you know I've been adjusting and I haven't shouldn't say I've been fine but I've been adjusting to this dose um, of medication now for the last week and a half and um, tonight I, um, I sat down and I watched a movie that was recommended to me by Derek um, aka Sardonic Skeptic, aka his new channel Asymmetrical Warfare. And so I watched this movie called Phil the Alien and it was a really good movie but my timing of my medication got off because I assumed that the movie was longer than it actually was. And so when the movie was over I took my medication and I was high as a kite and then I started to be like I could feel the rush and I was like oh fuck and then I started panicking so I did the stupidest thing that you could do when you're on that kind of opiate I shot back a couple of benzos <laughs> so you know it's just like trying to deal with these chemicals in my brain and this this stuff is so hard it's hard to find a balance and I think my my brain is because I'm coming off one opiate medication and going on another my brain is like trying to figure that out and um, I'm, I'm also like because of that I'm also um, experiencing like incredible dreams and just um, my whole body is changing everything is changing and it's changing really really fast that's the thing it's changing really fast I've probably lost about seven pounds already just from the switch over on this medication I put on my jeans and they're like falling off to my hips already and it's only been a week and a half and it's almost like my you know because I'm usually pretty tiny I'm usually like a size zero or one or two or three that's my normal size and this prior medication I went on it made me gain almost half of my body weight and so getting off it now in the last week and my body is just going holy fuck oh we have to switch back to you know the the normal protocols of being on a regular opiate medication like morphine so um it, it's 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 been kind of a rough ride and i was so fucking high tonight and um you know I've taken, I've I've done a lot of drugs in my time. Um, 
uh, and I've experienced, um, like I've, I've purposely done it just so I could, you know, experience another state, you know. And um, so, yeah, this, this is like, this is really wild, you know, and it's kind of making me, um, you know, it's making me uh, unstable cause, because I can actually feel, I don't know if anyone's ever felt this before, but I can actually feel my brain vibrating at a certain frequency. It's like humming. And I don't know, it's not all the time. It's just like I'm taking, I, I dropped my my SSRI, which is my antidepressant medication. I dropped that by a third which is not really that big of a deal, but I guess in my brain it's that big of a deal, right? And so, like, and then I'm on the morphine, which is long-acting. It's, it's, not, it's not a short-acting morphine. It's, it's very long-acting, but it's still morphine. And um, so I'm kind of like, I, I'm kind of trying to find my bearings and, um, you know, there's, I tried reaching out to somebody on YouTube, but I think that person is going through their own stuff right now. And, um, I, I totally understand that. I really do. Um, I have a tendency to choose I choose people who I think can understand, right? I choose, I, I will, you know, I will choose people who I think have been on a similar path as myself. And so, um, I, I chose someone to, um, to open up to and the response I kind of got was, um, it kind of seemed like I'm, I'm going through my own, you know, psychological turmoil. And um, it just seemed to me like maybe this person didn't think I was being um, sincere. Um, and I can totally understand why, because the email that I sent back to this person was, um, was in one of my kind of altered states. And, and it's the funny thing is I feel that their email was sent to me in an, in an altered state as well. And I could be wrong about that, but I know about myself. Um, so to that person, um, I was being very genuine with you, very, very genuine. Um, and if you're, if you're going through these things, um, and you don't, you know, for whatever reason, you are trying to av be avoidant um, with me confiding in you because I feel that you have a certain understanding of some of these things. And that's why I chose you specifically. Um, and I know that we don't really know each other very well, but my heart, my heart was there, you know, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't something, you know, I'm not, it wasn't some stunt, it was genuine, it was really genuine, um, and I, I don't want you to address me back publicly, I don't want you to do that, if you address me, you can address me privately, um, but I felt the need to clarify that because my last email was kind of um, 
my last email was like I said it was a, I was in an altered sort of state and I was I was trying to I was trying to understand your response to me because it, it, it kind of seemed so cryptic and it wasn't it almost seemed as if um, you didn't think I was being genuine and um, I was I was so um, I also got a chance to talk to another one of my friends tonight um, and I told her what happened and uh, you know it's I don't really know what to say except you know I'm kind of just I'm really my brain is really trying to adjust to this and the thing is is like you know my doctor's like oh yeah we can take care of your mood and we can take care of that and so, you know what I don't really want to take care of it I don't want to I, I don't I, I don't want to interrupt whatever process is happening with me right now with another um, another drug I just don't want to do it um, for obvious reasons I think my safety for you know first and foremost um, you know messing around and putting another substance in my brain right now would just not be a good would not be a good thing I think it's probably better to tough it out and see if over time my brain can you know go back to like an equilibrium and and that's what I'm hoping for I'm very very lucid right now but I wasn't earlier I, I really wasn't um, I don't know what kind of impression I made on my on my girlfriend but um, I um, I just I just I just don't want um, I just don't want you, I mean, you know, I know you're kind of worried, um, but that's kind of why I'm making this video, because I, I, I want to explain to people kind of what's going on. I do. I really want to explain to people what's going on. Um, but, you know, there's just sometimes, like, you just find a person who you think that you're resonating with, you know, and that's the person that you really want to talk to because you know you, you sense it's, it's just like a it's like a, a another sense that you have that that person has that same sort of like energy thing going on and um, so to the person that I contacted um, that is why I contacted you um, I feel that you, you and I have this, I don't know, it's kind of like a, a similarity. We have a resonance and, you know, if you don't want to explore that, just tell me. Um, but I found that your response to me was kind of cryptic and if it is true that you are going through maybe similar things that I'm going through right now then I, I fully understand that I really do um, I know my my reputation on here I think kind of gives people it gives people the wrong impression about me and I think it's just because I tend to be a very um, I tend to, to be a very private person in a lot of ways but this right now what is happening with me right now is something that needs to be uh, it needs to be out right and I would like to to 
have this be out. Um, 